Fuzzed Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to install Motion Eye software on a Raspberry Pi. I have a uh, the Raspberry Pi camera hooked up to my Pi now, so we need to go in and uh, activate it, enable it. So we'll just do that. <clears throat> we'll let that reboot. I already did an update, so <clears throat> so this this program's pretty nice. Um, I have it. I'm running the light version of the newest uh, software that's out. So <clears throat> works out pretty nice. You can do a good bit with this software. So the first thing we're going to do is going to do get into root here, so we don't have to keep typing sudo. So we're going to install some software here. Yeah, and I'll be back when this is done. <clears throat> All right, now that that's done, we need to install a little bit more here. And we'll download it. And we'll install some dependencies. All right, so now we're going to install <coughs> the uh, software here. And this is going to take a little bit, so I'm going to pause this. All right, so now we need to make a directory. And we're going to copy some stuff here. Then we need to make another directory and copy some more stuff and then we need to reload enable and start alright so what you're going to do now is going to go to the IP address of the Pi colon 8765 for the port number so once we're there you're just going to do admin admin I think admin I think the password might be blank so just put in admin password is blank you can change it later so as you can see it comes up we could add our camera so we can just add it see if it sees it here and there it is there's my camera so <clears throat> first thing you want to do is click on the advance we'll apply it then uh, here you can change the passwords and stuff. Um, frame rate, we can turn that up. We can rotate this. Hit apply. This program runs really smooth on the uh, Raspberry Pi 2 or 3. So <clears throat> works out very well. Right there's your resolution. 
file storage what I normally do is I click on this and uh, save it to like a USB drive that I have plugged into the pod works out really good or you can always add the uh, a custom path to like a NAS or whatnot so video stream I normally turn that up <clears throat> we can apply that still images if you want better quality turn it up and then you know how long do you want to save your stuff for whatever you feel like you can do same way with movies turn up the quality of it how long you want to save then you have your motion detection stuff notifications you can have it work a schedule if you like then you can click on this to uh, <clears throat> see your pictures your uh, videos that's another thing here somewhere Where, what uh, format of video that you want to do right here so you can do all them different ones so the nice thing about installing it this way is that, you know you could always uh, install other things on the Pi and I'm like I said I'm running the light version of the Pi so works out pretty good but uh, as you can see, you know, pretty good quality, so not too bad. <clears throat> but uh, you want to add another camera, you can add. Oh, we got to click apply first. But we can add another camera here. So, like, if you want to do a network camera, you can do so and on. So, all right. Thanks for watching.